Hey guys, thanks for clicking. So as the thumbnail stated, can the Blue Yeti AC200L actually pay for itself? I believe that it can. So this unit actually has a new function and it's a new UPS function. So you have your standard UPS function where once you plug it into the wall outlet, it's just gonna charge it up to 100% and then just sit there and wait until it loses power and then it's gonna automatically transfer over to battery power. This new unit actually goes a step further. We have time controlled UPS setting. So how does the time controlled UPS function work? Well, what it does is you set your peak time and your off peak time and you set your state of charge high and low. So I have my unit set right now to discharge up to 20% and then it will charge back up to 80%. So what it'll do is during peak time where the electricity bill is the highest, it is gonna use the battery power until it hits that low state of charge. And then once the electricity goes to off peak time, it's gonna run the load off the grid and charge the battery back up. So it's a pretty ingenious way to run your unit. And what this can allow you to do is over time, using the power that you're already paying for, it's gonna allow you to accumulate lower electrical bill, which is then gonna pay the unit off. So I have a setup here. I have two watt meters. So this first watt meter is the grid. So I have this cord coming into the back and then this cord here goes into the Blue Yeti. And then the Blue Yeti power comes out and runs into the back of this meter and comes out here. So I can actually show you guys in real time what is going on with the unit. So currently right now, I am in what they call peak hour and I have my low, my low state of charge set to 20%. So now if I was to put a load onto the unit, it should only take the power from the batteries and not from the grid, which is this one here. So let's increase the load. So right now, as you can see, we are discharging at 337, kind of almost going up to 400. And you can see here, we are using a bit of the grid power, only about four watts, but the majority of the power is coming from the battery pack on the Blue Yeti. So I'm gonna let that run for a minute. Let's discuss how to set this up while this is running. So what you wanna do is make sure you have the latest firmware update. And the way you do that is you need to connect via Bluetooth to the Blue Yeti, not through Wi-Fi. But for this time, we're gonna go through Bluetooth. So the way you do that is you have your home screen here. You can either have your device on the home screen or you can go to My Devices, the three dots, you wanna click on that, and then go to Bluetooth. Now we are connected via Bluetooth. So you're gonna to want to go onto the sprocket at the top right, scroll down, and you can see firmware update. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're up to date on the firmware. Oh, my heater just turned off, must be uh, to temperature. Okay, now once that is done, something else you need to make sure of is go to eco mode. And you can see there I have AC eco mode turned off. I'd never want my AC to turn off. In case my fridges, freezers, and furnaces aren't running for a long period of time, I don't want this unit to shut down. So just leave that uh, eco mode to off. And then you can see here under UPS modes. So the different modes we have is standard, PV priority, let's just click that for a minute to show you. So you can actually have this where you just have a low state of charge. So the Blue Yeti will discharge down to 20% and then just stay there until the solar comes back on and recharges the battery. So it'll, constant, it'll only go down to your preset and then just wait for solar. So that is gonna save you a lot of money as well. And then we can go to time controlled UPS which is how I was describing. So you can do 20 to 80%. That's what this unit is gonna stay in. And if you know about the lithium iron phosphate chemistry, if you can keep your unit between 20 and 80%, it's gonna increase the longevity of your battery by far. So this is great that you can actually pick what to discharge and charge to. And then here you can see, we can set up to six different times. Uh, in my area, it's between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. is the peak time. Anything outside of that in weekends 
our off-peak hours. Now this you can't set for weekends, which maybe they should do an update where you can add weekends into the off-peak times, but regardless. Okay, so now to demonstrate the off-peak and on-peak, right now we are in peak hours. So you can see I'm discharging my load, which is about 830 watts, and we are, charging, and we are discharging from the grid about three watts. So now let's trick the unit into thinking that we're in off-peak hour. Okay, so now I've clicked off peak and you can see already we are taking the load. So right now we are taking the load and we are charging. Now I have my charging load turned down. Let's turn that up for a minute. Okay, and now you can see we are increasing on the charging. So right now we are charging and we are running the load. So that is pretty cool. So now let's switch it back and pretend that we are in peak hours right now. So now we're back to peak and you're gonna see this one here come down. And there we go, it is starting to come down. So now we're only using about 3.3 watts of the grid power, but we're using 858 uh, watts coming from the battery pack itself. So this over time, switching from peak to off peak to run your loads is gonna save you power in the long run. Now, if you were to actually add solar to this unit, uh, even though you have the preset to let's say 80%, the PV will allow it to charge to 100%. So your PV can charge up to 100. So you could, let's say theoretically, put your battery at 40 and 60, and then it'll charge from the grid off peak till 60, and then come sunshine, you can charge it then up to 100 and you'll have more power to use to run your loads instead of running from the grid. So this takes this now out of the realm of just being like a camping or just a straightforward UPS uh, unit. You can actually pre-configure and preset a lot of functionality into the Blue Yeti now. Uh, the other mode that we have is we have a customized UPS mode. So this customized UPS will give you the option to turn time of use on or off or charge from grid on or off. So I think the, uh, I think the timed UPS is probably the one that most people are gonna pick because it just does exactly what you need it to do. So yeah, right now we are discharging from the battery, which is really amazing. This is actually gonna allow you to have the Blue Yeti pay itself off. So anyways, I just thought that was a really cool functionality of the new AC200L. I thought I would share with you guys. I'm gonna continue to run this. Like in my previous video I showed, I have this running my, uh, I have it running two freezers, a fridge, and my furnace, and my hot water blower. So it's just been a champ. I haven't had any issues whatsoever, which is the way it should be. They should just work. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments section. Um, do you think that I did something wrong here? Maybe I might be describing something wrong, but I think that this now can actually pay for itself using the electricity that you're already paying for. You can actually have this and then you can be uh, saving money in the long run too. So very neat, very cool setup from uh, Blue Yeti. So thank you very much for watching. Bye.